we're talking about circumference. This is grade 7 math 9.1b. It's a new version. So finding the circumference of a circle with pi. If we divide the circumference of a circle by the length of its diameter, c over d, it'll be about 3.14. So remember that fractions are little division problems. They're also ratios, aren't they? And this ratio of circumference and diameter is pi. This is the pi symbol. And we can approximate its value as 3.14, or as a fraction, as 22 sevenths. And pi, it compares the circumference of a circle to the length of its diameter. Now, it's also a non-terminating decimal. It's an irrational number that can be written as a fraction. Normally, we'd say an irrational number can't be written as a fraction. But we can write pi as a fraction because we use 22 sevenths as an approximate, and then we use the approximation symbol instead of equals. So it's really not 22 sevenths. It's just approximately 22 sevenths, so we can use that. And many mathematicians have tried to compute pi to all of its digits, and so far they've passed a million digits. So did you know that March 14th is Pi Day? You probably did. A lot of schools are celebrating that. It's the third month, the 14th day, so it's 3 14. And look at, here's just some of the digits of pi. So now you can see why we just use 3.14 and the approximation symbol. All right? So here's the, the circle that we've been dealing with. We've got our pink circumference, we've got our green diameter, and we've got our orange radius. Okay? So if you take a look at this, the diameter is a 12 for any circle. C divided by D is going to equal pi. That means the circumference divided by the diameter is going to equal 3.14. Now, because this is a division problem, we can multiply both sides by D by that D for diameter and rearrange the formula to find the length of the circumference of a circle. So we can rearrange this formula so instead of having it equal pi, we can make it equal C. We multiply both sides of the equal sign by the d. And on this side, if we write d over 1, that's the same thing as d, right? We get this d cancels out this d, and we get a c over 1. Well, that's just a c. And on this side, we get pi times the diameter, pi times d. So the circumference equals pi times the diameter. See? So what we get is... The circumference equals pi times the diameter. That means it's going to equal 3.14 times that 12. And we multiply 3.14 times 12, and we get 37.68. Multiplying the decimals, there's two hops of decimals in the equation, so we have to put two hops of decimals into the answer, into the product. So we get 37.68. So the circumference is approximately 37.68 because pi is not exactly 3.14, is it? So we have to use that approximate symbol, all right? Now, because the diameter is twice as long as the radius, okay? So if you take a look at this, here's the diameter, here's the radius, and the radius is just half of the diameter, or the di diameter is twice the radius, see? It takes two of these to make one of these. What we can do is, what if we had a circle and it said that we only had the radius? We know we can multiply that by 2 to get the diameter, couldn't we? So the circumference equals pi d times d can be the circumference equals 2 of the radius, 2 radii times pi. And instead of d, we use 2 radii, see? We can even say 2 pi r. See, remember in multiplication, the order doesn't matter. If we're doing all multiplication, 2 times radius times pi, it's all multiplication. 2 times 3 times 1 is the same thing as 2 times 1 times 3. We're going to get 6. We're going to get 6. So it doesn't matter the order if it's all multiplication. So we can say 2 pi r. And that's helpful because then in a lot of math, you can just memorize what 2 pi is. That's 6.28. And if you end up doing math a lot, that having it memorized 
that one of them is 3.14 and two of them is 6.28, you can go a little quicker, all right? So we can say 2 pi r, so in, these are both equivalent. So instead of 3.14 times 12, like we did in this problem, multiplying it by the diameter, we would just do 2 times the radii, the radius. That's 2 times 6, it's still 12. See, it would give us the same answer. And don't forget we can use 22 sevenths for pi when there's a fraction diameter or radius. So let's say the diameter is 2 and a half inches. From end to end, it's 2 and a half inches. We write it as an improper fraction, it's 5 halves, and we multiply it by the 22 sevenths for pi. And if you look, there's one two here, and there's 11 twos here, so we can cross cancel these as a one and an 11, then we don't have to reduce so much. Then we do 11 times five is 55, and seven times one is seven. We have 55 sevenths, which is approximately seven and six sevenths inches. So remember, because we're dealing with that pi, it's approximate, okay? And if the radius is 1.6 inches, or centimeters, or whatever, and the circumference is equal to 2r pi, or, or 2, whoops, I needed to write 2 pi r, okay? What we can do is, we can say, okay, we've got this 1.6 radius, we can multiply 3.14 times 2 of the radii, so 2 times 1.6 is 3.2. That would give us, when we multiply it to the approximation of pi, approximately 10.048 inches. If we did it the other way around, where it was 2 pi r, and just rearranged these, because remember, multiplication is the same if it's all multiplication. Then we would get 2 times pi, which is that 6.28 that I hope you memorize, times the 1.6 radius, we're still going to get 10.048 inches, see? Just remember, if you're doing this on scratch paper by hand, if there's two hops in the equation, there's going to be two hops in the product. If there's three hops in the equation, one, two, three, there's going to be three hops in the product. So our circumference is approximately 10.048 inches, or 10 and 48 thousandths of an inch, okay? I have another example. The radius is 3.5 centimeters. We can do 2 times pi, which is our 6.28 that we try to memorize, multiplied by 3.5, and we multiply the 6.28 times 3.5, and we get 21.980. There's three hops in the equation. There's three hops in the product. We don't need that last zero. He's just taking a space. So it comes out approximately as 21.98 centimeters, see, because that was 3.5 centimeters. It's really important to label what it is so people know if it's inches, centimeters, yards, meters, miles, or even liquid measures, ounces, you want to label them, okay? So that is how we find the circumference of a circle with pi. And if you want to know more about this, there's going to be links in the description to other helpful videos. So they'll be right at your fingertips, all right? I hope you have a great day, and I'm really proud of you. Keep trying, and I'll see you next time. Bye.